Good girl. Good girl. Hello, big girl. Very nice. Very good. Stay. Break. Yeah. I'd say it was memorable. That was it. That was really She's looking great. She She's uh, on a long line, so this mimics off leash. She's, she's um, really so we're wondering. we're looking for runaway attempts, leave the pack attempts. Nice work. So, yeah, we're just looking for her exploring, but occasionally checking in. And then if we notice her start to go, we'll use that recall skill that she's learned, like right now. Hi, baby. Goes right into a follow. So when she tries to go down a cliff, which is a 30 foot drop, we correct her and then recall her. So it gives context to the recall. Yeah. Hang on, let me get our leash. Get our line, very nice, stay. Break. Yay! Nice Amazing. work! That sit stay is 10 times improved. Oh yes, very much so. Gorgeous out right now, it's not too hot. Not in the shade. I like it. Yeah, it, it got real hot yesterday. Yeah, I don't know where she was going on that ledge. She would have made it down alright. She's a big girl, but that's an example of taking off. And it was a great opportunity for me to correct and recall. And her response was brilliant. Good girl. Yeah, they described her as being scared of everything, but I don't see that. Yeah, I think she might, maybe she gets in over her head because her curiosity is strong. So she might go up on something and then realize, it'll dawn on her that, oh, I'm uncomfortable. And then they might see some, what they might see is um, uncertainty when a dog expresses that physically, a lot of dogs think that that means they're terrified. And it, it you generally, it, they're far from terrified. If you see a dog who's really terrified, you're like, okay, that dog's not terrified. They're just concerned. And so she's probably concerned and unsure how to respond to the world and how to feel about the world. And that goes away as soon as there's a leader. Because she says, I don't know how to feel and I don't know how to respond. And they look at the leader and they see how the leader's feeling about it and they take direction. So all that goes away. All that is just her not knowing her place and situations. and and um, what we need to do with un unfamiliar people, places, and things. So I haven't seen a dog who's abnormally, uh, for us, nervous of the world. However, I do see a dog who is a little concerned about things because everything's unfamiliar. She hasn't really, she's a little what we call underdeveloped. She hasn't really developed fully for a two-year-old. There's a lot of things she doesn't understand. And so we will be tackling that in this training. Once we have her trained up and our bond is, is right and our relationship's right, I'm going to take her out into the world and get her. See, I can't expose her to everything in the world that's new, but what I can do is I can teach her um, coping skills to get through situations where she might be nervous. And then she'll learn that, that it's the same coping skill every time. And once she learns to use it, she'll generalize it to everything that she's concerned about. And really what it is, it's a state of mind that a dog goes in where they, they go passive instead of interactive and they just kind of ignore the stuff or passively observe it they go into a calm state of mind and then they take direction from the owner and once you realize that's successful amongst these scary things the unfamiliar then she'll get confident that she can get through situations that where there might be something that's a little scary okay so that's a coping skill she will learn here mm -hmm. i'm sure we'll see more of this, this the nervousness out in the city with the noises and the cars and the people and the other dogs and all the stuff that a dog doesn't naturally understand.
Look what you've achieved in two days. This is a dog who couldn't be walked at all. She, she either was Amazing. pulling really, really hard um, or she was refusing to move. Oh. Um, and if she was off leash, she would run away. Okay, she would just run away. We've seen that yesterday. Only with Zelda, they said. But I'm sure she would without her too. Well, we've seen her run away. Yesterday, yeah. Yesterday for sure she was running away. Um, and she would have been gone. If, but we obviously, it was a setup, so we were prepared for her to run away. She didn't know that, and she definitely committed to it. Today, we opened up the door, nothing. She, she, she looked at me, and she's waited for permission. So that's how quick she's learning it, and we're just going to reinforce it as the days go on. But look, one recall so far, because we're only recalling during this particular outing when she makes mistakes. So she can learn that there's a certain state to go in, which is follow. Look, it's follow. And there's no, I'm not going to ask her to do anything right now in this session. And I'm also not going to be correcting her. So she's going to say, if I just follow these guys, uh, it's a safe spot. That's going to be important for when we move forward in, in, our, in our training when we start going off property. She's inevitably going to make similar mistakes as she did the first time here out off property but then she'll know what to do afterwards. Just come to us and follow our direction. From there, we can pick and choose what commands we use, but the state of mind first of understanding how to follow. She's doing it right now. Like if Julie and I just stop, right? She stops on her own. She stops on her own and comes back to us. Okay, so she's following us, but she's, there is no command. This is just dynamic of the relationship because of the experiences that she's had since she's been here. Okay, it's, it's beautiful. Good girl. Let's go, honey. You're doing amazing. Wow. So this that's is the state that we're looking for. We can teach that that state. This is an amazing thing we've achieved. Yes, I agree. And you know, some might argue this is all you really need, but top end training does not hurt because clear communication is, is really going to make things smooth. Because even if a dog wants to listen to you, but they don't, there's a, they don't always understand what you're saying. Uh, there can be moments of confusion. So, state of mind, creating a follower, and then getting those five basic commands rock solid. We're ready to go everywhere with our dogs. We're ready to, to enjoy life with them and to uh, in, include them in our life the way we want to, the way we all want to.